Hey guys, I started this early. Let's see if you have been in here. Can you hear me okay? Somebody give me a thumbs up. Let me know if everything's going okay. I have the chat over here. I believe it's open. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come in here and say hi. Yay, so the sound is okay? Awesome. Um, I am hoping this isn't as grainy as my last chat. So hey guys. So good to see some of you in here. Awesome, yay. Oh, great. Um, it has been a long time since I have done a live chat because the last time I did it, the interface was very unuser friendly and my good friend, Michelle Wong, who has done a lot of live chats, um, has kind of given me a tutorial and it's a lot easier now. I don't have, you know, an official, fancy webcam. So I'm hoping this isn't too grainy. Apologies ahead of time if it is. Thanks guys. You guys are awesome. Love you. I, I have to always be cognizant of the chat that's going on over here. So um, if I break eye contact, that's why I just don't want to miss something. And if I do miss something, it's just because, you know, it's just hard to multitask and I am a big multitasker. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would come on. I have Charlotte Holcroft um, tagged me and I think I think Samantha March started a tag, um, the Would You Rather Makeup tag. Uh, have you any, have any of you seen this? I just thought it was a fun tag to do. I thought I could do it in here with you guys, kind of chat about it, maybe um, have it be more interactive kind of thing. And I have a giveaway too. So um, I've, I've had things accumulating. So this is the first of several giveaways I plan on doing as well. So um, yeah, that's it. And if you guys just want to chat about anything, just let me know. I don't know how long this is going to last. It just depends. I think we're supposed to get some thunderstorms here today. So that's, that's not good. And it may affect my lighting and my sound. So if we get interrupted, let me know. I'm so glad to see you all in here. This is great. Oh, and by the way, um, speaking of Michelle, she is going to be doing a live stream with this tag as well. I think on Thursday, I th think she's going to pop in here today. So she will let us know. Um, oh, thank you guys. Okay. So you guys that are in here. Okay. I'm hearing there were some bad thunderstorms um, in West Louisiana. I am in New Orleans. For those of you that don't know, that is where I live. And I feel like I am sweating today already and my air is kicking. I don't know what's going on. I don't think I'm nervous or anything because I'm on camera all the time. I'm filming the, well, I'm refilming my intro to this for a very specific reason. And I am filming my summary on this foundation today. So that's what I have on. I have, well, and not just the foundation, the concealer, wherever it may be. It's around here somewhere. The foundation concealer, I am also comparing it to my beloved Naked Skin Foundation. Um, did I say Naked Skin? Stay naked. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, you guys are so sweet. Um, thank you. I feel like my tan is wearing away. It's one of those things where you try not to tan, you know, because it's not healthy, but you can wear all the sunscreen in the world and you're still going to get sun if you have a certain skin type. And that's just kind of how I am. Um, yeah, it's just going to get to be ugly here today. But yeah, so I am finishing up this foundation review, which is going to include the Stay Naked Foundation Concealer. And I am going to compare it to the Naked Skin because I know a lot of you like this. I rediscovered this this year and it has become a true favorite. And I do wear this by itself, test it out in many ways as I always do. And I do a half and half face test with both of these. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Well, I mean, I know how it goes. You'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, hey mom, my mom's in here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, let's see, finding your color. Um, okay. So charity points out something that I will be addressing in the video. And I, I'm not sure if it's going to go up Sunday. My Thursday video is already filmed. I'm not sure if this foundation review is going to go up Thursday, um, Sunday or next week sometime just because I'm working on some other stuff. Um, finding your color is what Charity mentioned. Um, yeah, it's it's great that there are 50 shades um, in the foundation. And I want to say offhand, I don't have it in front of me. There are 25 shades in the concealer. The concealer is much easier to find your shade. Finding a color 
is a task. My friend Risa just uploaded a review and a comparison with the Dose of Colors Foundation. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. She does kind of address that color difficulty as well. Um, yeah, it's 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 a little overwhelming with all the different master tones and undertones. And, you know, you would think those of us that are so used to being able to just go pick out a foundation so quickly would not have a hard time. And we talk on a daily basis and both of us had a really hard time. And the foundation shades that we thought that we would, you're kind of getting a sneak peek of some things I'll say in the video, but this doesn't address everything by any means. Um, I, uh, the foundation that Urban Decay, you know, they sent us the thing to order the shades we thought we were. And based on the descriptions, I mean, I poured over that thing and I definitely thought I was a certain shade. And when I went in to Ulta, it was at least two shades too light. So yeah, not easy. And it's not one that I would order online personally. It's just a little hard. So, um, thanks for coming in Kelly. Um, I'm so glad. I hope I didn't miss any. If I missed any of these, I'm so sorry. I'm so, you guys are so sweet. I really, I got ready really quickly today because I thought I was going to be running late. So, um, thank you for all your kind words and mom, people are saying hello to you. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to get started with this tag because I just thought that it was kind of fun and look, okay. I got two things going here, coffee and water. Um, if you saw my Instagram story from yesterday where I was talking about my, you know, healthy weight loss venture. This water is part of my thing. Oh, where's my dog? He's right here. <laughs> oh, wait, he's either here or in his, oh, sorry, Luke, I just poked you in the ear. He's either here or in his bed, usually behind me. So sometimes if you guys can't see him, he's in his bed because his bed is usually centered right behind me. <laughs> Look at you guys spending your lunch with me. Is awesome. Um, so I am uh, for no, a lot of people couldn't make it. I love it when I get a phone call during a live stream. This is the beauty of live streams. I'm just waiting for somebody to walk through the door and <laughs> throw me off. Um, okay, so um, the shade finder. Luke is a staple in my videos. I, okay, before I get into the tag. Let's talk about Luke in my videos real quickly. <laughs> um, I've had a couple people make some weird comment, not 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 the family, not you know, not you guys, but just some weird people will pop in the comments. Not everybody is nice, and they'll make weird comments about my background and the bed and stuff. You know, never mind that big YouTubers still use their rooms as their background. You know, but they'll make comments about it just you know, because people like to be rude behind the keyboard, right? So, um, and I've thought about changing it. I thought about getting just a backdrop, moving elsewhere. But then, I, you know, I, he is so, such a big part of this channel. I can't imagine not having him in here. And I know sometimes he's not in every video, but more times than not, he is. And the only reason why he's never in a, if you don't see him in a video, it is because he's at the groomer or the vet or one of the kids is eating upstairs and he's begging for food. <laughs> that is the only time he's not here. So, um, let's see. Yes. Yeah, so, um, thank you. Thank you guys. I know, and the light is really, really good in here for the most part. Some days I get a lot of fluctuations, but it's it's good in here. And I don't, you know, I don't actually think I'd have to use artificial light. Well, I mean, I have to have a ring light sometimes if it's shadowy, but I don't have a room that's super dark in here in the house, which is good. Um, okay, so the would you rather makeup tag um, is just, you know, the would you rather game. And it's just kind of a couple scenarios. Would you rather this or that? And it's all makeup related. So give me your comments over here. Give, you know, let's chat about each one if you guys want to. I just thought this would be a lot more fun to do in chat than just me talking to myself. So the first question is, would you rather have a bad base or bad eye makeup? So um, personally, I would pick eye makeup. <laughs> Because I just really don't like it uh, now. I'm just at a place where I don't like it when my skin looks 
bad. I feel like I've worked so hard to, you know, make sure my skin looks good and I just don't want my base to look bad. And I feel, I don't know, I feel like you can kind of get away with bad eyeshadow because so many people out there, you know, have, you know, application issues and it happens and it's just more accepted than having a bad base because that's so much more noticeable. I feel like, isn't that weird? Because you look at people's eyes, but it's just, I don't know. That's what I feel. I don't know. And I feel like that is the consensus. <laughs> You're all saying the same thing. So yeah, I've got a hair or fuzzy on my lip. Sorry. These are things that would be edited out if I was filming <laughs> normally. Bad base. Okay. So we do have a few bad basers here and that's why I wanted to do this. That's a, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Kathy doesn't want bad anything. So Kathy, we started the, um, would you rather makeup tag? And the question was, would you rather have a bad base or like face makeup or bad eye makeup? Would you rather, you have to pick one. <laughs> That's the rule of the game. You have to pick one. So, um, all right. So yeah, I, I, that's what I, I agree with. Um, are y'all ready to move on to the next one? What do I have on my eyes today? Okay. I'll let some of you kind of finish answering if y'all want to answer that and I'll show you what I have on my eyes today. And this is, um, a new product I got last week. I mean, I'm kind of doing a final test today and I'm incorporating them in a video very soon. This is the first time I've seen them in store. And I feel like these are the ones that um, Shelby Wilson talked about on her channel that she was so impressed with. And I looked for them after she did a video and I could not find them anywhere. And I think I found them in Ulta. These are, after this is over, if y'all ask me any questions about products, um, this is gonna go private for a little while, but I can edit the description box and things um, after that. and I'll put things in the description box. Cause I know things are going to get lost. The chat's going to get long and um, I'll see if I can find these online and put them in there. Anything I talk about specifically. Um, hang on one second, Trisha, you may have to ask me that again. <laughs> um, so cover girl, these are the cover girl, true naked queen ship. I don't, is that showing up backwards? I think so. Um, I sticks. And this is the shade 930. That's kind of what I have all over. I literally just drew it on like a crayon and smudged out the top with a brush that I cannot find. Uh, hang on one sec. Um, this brush, which is the It Cosmetics 220 Small Shadow Brush. That's just, that's always what I use when I blend out cream shadows or liquid shadows or anything like that. The other shade that I, kind of dabbed right here. You can't really see it over here because there's a shadow, but you can kind of see it right there is the shade a 920. They actually had names on the boxes, like actual names, but they did not print them on here. I don't understand that at all. Um, let's see. I feel like I need to take notes. Okay. If I don't get to your question, feel free to ask it again later. I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> I'm just trying to kind of go with the flow here. Um, Yes, you do have to work with these quickly. I do one eye at a time. I, you know, color it in and then blend it out where I need to blend it, then go to the other eye. I did not buy the sticks online. I bought them in store at Ulta. And again, I'll, I'll, if I can find them online, I will link them for you. I just I haven't looked for them online. So um, I will let you know. So yeah, and again, it'll go private for a little while after we get off because it just gives you the option of hiding it forever or <laughs> going public and I uh, will set it to public and just edit the description box and a few things. So, um, let's see. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So I turned on the chat moderation because it never fails every time some random person pops in and does questionable or, you know, says questionable things. And when Tracy asked, said that she loved the nude sticks, it, it, it hit it for moderation for a little bit. It's kind of like YouTube. Um, you know, I'm wondering about the monetization of <laughs> YouTube with all the videos that are reviewing the stay naked foundation because they flag the word naked in every video. They don't discriminate whether it's a product or not. 
Um, oh, I'm so glad that worked for you, Alina. Alina, I hope I said that right. Um, okay, so question number two in the would you rather makeup tag is would you wear, if I could read it correctly, that would be great. Would you rather wear a neutral eye or a neutral lip forever? So if you follow me regularly, you probably know what my answer is. And I would say a neutral eye because I usually wear neutral eyes and I, of some sort, you know, whether it's a deeper or a smokier neutral eye, you can still go neutral and go a little heavier or you can do daytime. I feel like I'm getting dim with my light. I'm sorry. Um, but I do like mixing it up with a brighter coral lip, sometimes a red, pinks. I like doing that. So as much as I love a neutral lip, this gives me more options with the lips. So you guys are all over with this one. Oh my gosh. Did you guys hear that thunder? That's why my lighting's getting dark. Super Goop Shimmer Shade makes a broad spectrum SPF cream shadow. Did not know that. Very interesting. Um, it took me a long time. It was after probably after I started my channel before I really felt more comfortable wearing a brighter red lip. And I think, I hate saying this, but I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, you do kind of pay attention to what your partner likes. And my husband's never been a big red lip fan. And like, he always was fine if I wore it, but it was just never his thing. So when we did stuff, I always just wore what I was more comfortable with, which is what he liked also. So I never really, I don't know, ventured out. But then every time I would wear like a, a warm berry or a red, I would get so many compliments. And I'm like, maybe I need to start wearing these more. <laughs> so we've both kind of come around on it, which is nice. Um, so I love seeing everybody pop in here. This is fun. Um, I used to think I couldn't wear them either. It, it's a whole other thing. Um, but I don't know. Oh, am, am I okay with my connection? I got a vacation. Are you, can you guys see me? Yes, you can ask me a question. Okay, I'm sorry. I got some weird thing from YouTube. Um, if it does get too laggy, I may just have to um, resume at some other time. So can you guys do me a favor and let me know in the comments? Just let me know if I get too laggy for some reason. I wonder. Let me see here. Hey, Ann P. Good to see you. Um yeah. Okay. So people are saying if you're fresh, it will be fine. So my notification is gone. Okay. I'm going to keep going because I'm getting a lot of it's fines and that if you refresh, it turns out okay. But if we keep having issues, um, I may have to just maybe continue it tomorrow or later today. I don't know. I hate to do that, but, um, okay. Um, okay. Somebody had a question. Um, Epic onside. I think it was you. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm not sure I can answer it, but you can ask it. <laughs> um, the next one in the meantime, while she's asking her question, um, number three in the, uh, would you rather tag is, would you rather wear the wrong foundation shade or no foundation forever? And that's kind of a toughie because no foundation forever means special occasions, weddings, you know, parties, things like that, where you might want something. And that means BB cream, CC creams, all that. Um, you know, you could put powder on. I am going to say the wrong shade. And I know that sounds crazy because I'm really weird about my shade. but you can go off a shade, just a tad, and still make it work by blending it down your neck. I mean, it's not make it or break it always if you just, if it's just a little bit off. So that's what I'm thinking. If it's just a little bit off, because oftentimes I go to try foundations and I end up with the wrong shade or, you know, just slightly off and I can still make it work. 
or I can share it out and it works that way. Or I can mix in, you know, my drunk elephant D bronzy, which I love and it'll work. So that's, that's what I'm going to say, which sounds so crazy, but I mean, it's the lesser of the two evils for me. Um, let's see. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. I totally missed your question. Cause I was talking, let me get back up here. I lost it. Um, sorry guys. I don't see the question. I'm so sorry. I mean, the other option is you could use concealer is, you know, for your foundation too, you know, or, you know, just spread it where you need it. That is another, um, question. Actually, no, the question never showed up. Um, okay. So the next question, number four is, would you rather give up primer or setting spray? And this is an easy one for me. Primer, hands down primer. If you are like me and you have combination skin with an oily T-zone, and you live in a climate like I do, because climate does make a difference. You need a primer to make things last for most foundations. Um, there's most days I don't wear a setting spray. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. That's my answer. I, you know, if there's certain days where I just know I'm going to be outside a long time or, I need to wear my foundation for, or my makeup for, you know, 16 hours, 14 hours, some, you know, weird amount of time, then I will, you know, I'll, I'll wear a setting spray. But I don't, on the whole, I don't wear setting sprays a ton. So um, you people, Anne, who doesn't need either, kudos to you. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Oh, I wish I didn't have to do it. Um, what's my favorite primer? Um, I have, a, I actually have a video on my favorite primers. Um, I think I did seven primers. It is in my, it's either in my favorites playlist. If you go to my channel page, you'll see a, a playlist tab and it's either in my top foundations playlist. I don't think I would have put it in there though, or my favorites playlist. And it's my top primers. Um, I have to say, just long term, my favorite primer is the Hourglass Veil Primer. But I've really, really been loving the, um, oh gosh, I'm about to knock something over. Hang on. Um, the, this Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. I've been wearing this a ton. I'm still looking for that question. <laughs> Trying not to miss it. Um, and then the Hourglass Veil, which actually in the normal size comes in a, pump bottle, but I have the big size because I, I love it and use it that much. Uh, I mean, I have others, but I feel like these are the ones that are kind of my base controls during my foundation road test because they do work for me with so many different foundations and they work in this weather because um, the hourglass is water I don't know if it's water resistant. There's something it's water, it, it water, it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. And so, you know, if you are a face sweater or if it's humid and, you know, like here in New Orleans, you in the middle of the summer, you cannot walk from your house to the car without beating up in sweat. <laughs> it's just kind of gross. And this is just one of those just primers that helps so much with that. Hey, Michelle, you did pop in. I told people about your uh, tag that you were tackling as well on Thursday. So we're kind of doing this in um, a uh, like group fashion. I just thought that would be more fun. So um, so Samantha, you do have the touch and soul primer. So I know most people that use this really like it. I take a pea size amount and just rub it all over my face. I don't use a pressing motion. Like most pore filling primers tell you to use a pressing motion. And those primers have never really worked for me because they help with pores, but they don't really help with oil control. And I don't, I don't know. I just find them kind of useless for me <laughs> for that. So I just use this exactly the way I use this. And with primers, you only need a pea size amount for your entire 
face and I don't use them underneath my eyes or anything just everywhere else. And then you let them sink in for, you know, a minute or two before you go in with your foundation. So that is um, how I use it, but everybody's different. So I always tell people that just because these primers are the ones that I really love, they may not work for you. You know, um, your climate, your skin chemistry, the skincare that you use before it all combined makes a difference with, how things work for everybody. So, um, Anne is asking what, um, and oh, the, hang on real quick. Anne. um, <laughs> I just see George Michael <laughs> in the chat and I have no context whatsoever. Um, the no problem primer is also like $18. And so it's, it's a really good deal. Um, let's see. What primer do you use with the Chanel water tint is what Ann asked. Um, either one of these, I, they work well. And I've used the um, Too Faced Hangover Primer too, if I want a dewier look, and I'll, I really like that too. Um, so I'm being asked, the Polish Choice Wrinkle Defense, the SPF 30, which I don't have in here because it's in my bathroom, but... Um, Struggling to make it look natural under makeup. Okay, so what I would recommend for any sunscreen, if you're having it, if you're struggling, especially this one, because this is such a user-friendly sunscreen and it is so lotion-y and it sinks in really easily. So if you're having trouble, I would say first off, take the normal amount that you apply, cut it in half and apply half to your face. And you want to massage your, your sunscreen in like it's a lotion and make sure it is fully absorbed. So get that first half in and then apply your second half. You don't have to always apply your sunscreen all at once because sometimes that is just too much all at once and it just takes a while and whatever. So if you're having trouble, apply half, make sure it's all in, apply the other half, make sure it's all in and wait several minutes before you go in with your primer or your foundation or whatever. Um, and that will, you know, it should help you, but you know, you want to use it on your face and your neck, you know, that required amount on your face and your neck and you should be good to go. But it is very absorbable, very, um, slightly, it gives kind of a soft matte finish. Let's choice sunscreen because I was asked about it here. Um, uh, let's see the Chanel water tent video. How, does it compare to anything I've used before? It does not. And Anne P makeup and more is here. She can probably weigh in on that here in the chat as well. I, um, it doesn't compare to anything I've used before, actually. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I've used BB creams. I've used CC creams. I've used face tents, but most of the true, face tints that are supposed to just kind of get that veil of color. I, you know, I kind of addressed this in the video. They, they give more than just a veil of color. And, and I do feel like when I first apply it, I don't really see a difference. It's not until it kind of settles in for a second that I notice, okay, wait, my skin looks really nice, really nice. And it feels nice all day. That's the thing with it. it you can tell it really does hydrate and it really does plump up. Whereas most other skin tints are tints, you know, and if they do have extra ingredients in them, they have made me greasy and this hasn't. And so if, if you know, I'm able to wear it in the summer here <laughs> and it doesn't make me look gross, which is huge. And now, you know, I said that in the video, it's not a foundation. It's not even close to a light BB cream. It is almost nothing, but you can use it in so many. It's not almost nothing, but I mean, it's, you can use it in so many different ways. And that's what I like. And, you know, on those days where I don't want full makeup, I really do want it just to be my skin. I can put this on really quickly and it is just my skin. It looks like just my skin but it looks so much better than what my skin looks like because it takes all the readiness out. It just makes it look so 
beautiful and plump and hydrated, Hy hydrated. <laughs> Can I say that word today? So, um, sorry, I'm doing a little bit of moderation <laughs> over here. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate that. Um, what stores carry the Chanel? So it's out in a lot of shades, out of stock, in a lot of stores that I've seen. I had to get it from my local Dillard's, but Nord well, Nordstrom was selling it, but they only had it in deep the last time I looked. And I, when I did the video, I linked straight to the Chanel website because they actually have, I think it's free two day shipping or something. Michelle would know. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle's on that Chanel website a lot if she's still here. Um, and I linked it there because it's no more to order it straight from the Chanel website than it is from any other store. So um, um, I am going to look again at the Nordstrom website before it closes down. And I am on my, in my Thursday monthly favorites, my July monthly favorites. I do talk about the things that I have gotten actually gotten. Cause I know I did the recommendations video, but that doesn't tell you guys what I actually ended up with. So I do talk about just some of the favorite products that I got. I'm so sorry. I'm messing around with my hair over here, but something's sticking out and it's bothering me. Um, so yes, I am going to, you know, just give it another once over because one of the things I wanted to link for you guys that I wanted to um, link a few videos ago and show you, I was actually going to put it on Instagram story. I was going to show it to you because it was like a, a kind of shirt sweater that I got for 29 bucks and I love it. It was out of stock. So there was no point in me talking about it, but it's back. And so I wanted to share some of those things with you because they're not all expensive, you know? Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm so glad some of you are popping in and, I know everybody, you know, kind of pops in and pops out. Um, it's midday. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Number four in the, would you rather make up tag? <laughs> we're just on number four. Oh wait, no, we're on number five. Um, would you rather, okay. Would you rather not wear makeup or give up coffee for an entire year? Okay. I'll just let you guys stew over this for a minute. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> I'm a coffee addict. So, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, if I could give up coffee, actually, I, I mean, I would have to, because if I gave up makeup, I feel like I would have to shut my channel down and I really enjoy doing this. This is a hard question. Yes. So here's my solution for one year for me personally, I would give up coffee <laughs> and just substitute hot tea. <laughs> Is that a substitute for coffee? I don't know. But I mean, I, I can't give up makeup. I'm sorry. I can't go places with, you know, my dark circles hanging out my straight eye, invisible eyelashes. There's just no way. There's no way. Sorry. Is that vanity? Uh, maybe. I just, I can't do it. I would feel not good about myself going everywhere without makeup for an entire year. Um, oh gosh, I love this automatic moderation. Let's see. Oh, hi Brock. Oh, you got one of the bracelets. <laughs> I love mine. I really do. I wear these pretty much 24 seven. The only time I took them off was when we were, um, anytime I swam in the ocean with salt water, that's when I take them off. Now you're, you're technically not, these are, sorry, I got a comment. These are, um, uh, new Orleans brand. I wear these in my videos a lot called Mignon Fege. And, um, I have no affiliation. They don't do that as far as I know, but, um, I got these for Christmas and they're called halo bangles, but they're, they're soft bangles and they don't jangle. So like you can see, I'm pulling on them and squeezing them right now. And, um, they come in different finishes and I don't know. I just love them. And it, they're kind of a big thing down here. So yeah, she got some while she was down here. You came at a hot time. <laughs> 
So I have a lot of um, various answers here. They do say that you can substitute in this, I was gonna say poll, in this tag that you can use other vices like tea and things like that. Thank you. Yes, I do. I love them. They kind of, they go with everything. And oh, they, they tell you, they're not supposed to tell you that you can get them wet, but you can. They, I don't know. They kind of under the radar said, yeah, you can wear them all the time. Um, my hair, I have partial highlights. Okay, my hair, um, Monty and anyone else that's new since earlier I told um, everyone, I will put links in. The video is going to go private for a little while while I edit some things. And then when I make it public, I'll have the links in here for things that I mentioned during the video because it's hard for me to like hunt down links and keep up with chat and talk with you guys. It's a lot. So, but I, I'll, I'll put that in there. Um, my hair. Okay. So once I started going darker, so the underneath, this is my natural color right here this underneath here. I only do partial, which is basically kind of just the top part. And she never touches the underneath because I started going darker because the highlights, the blonde was just way too much maintenance. And I mean, I was just getting roots at like six weeks and I'm just, it's just too much time for me to spend in the salon. So, um, I went darker to bring it more towards my base color. So my color is a lot of my base color with low lights and highlights mixed in as partial low lights and highlights. So she just does kind of like the top half. So that's what you see. So that's what we're doing with my hair right now until I get bored and decide I don't want to go blonde again, <laughs> but I've really been like in the dark. So I know. So yeah. Um, I've had friends tell me that when I start going gray and that I will want to go lighter to hide the gray. And I'm hearing that here in the chat. <laughs> so we shall see when that happens. I know um, my mom took a while to go gray. Is she still in here? Uh, my mom took a while to go gray. And thankfully um, I have that gene. <laughs> so um, we'll see how I feel when I get to that point. So let's do number six in the would you rather makeup tag. Can you guys hear that rain? And can you still hear me over the rain? Because I have three windows right here. It is raining. So if you just let me know if y'all have issues, please. What is your perfect foundation for your skin type? So Monica, I have a playlist on my channel, my main channel page. If you go there, you'll see a playlist tab and I have a, uh, foundation playlist. It's called top foundations. And, and I'm updating that with different videos periodically. I actually need to do one soon. Um, okay, good. Thank you for the feedback on the rain. And, um, because to say just one foundation, it, it, there's different occasions and different types. And, you know, it's just talking about the urban decay and naked skin earlier. Love it. Um, but I did some blind foundation testing where I took all the labels off of all my foundations and put them in little containers. That's kind of what prompted the top foundations playlist. Be, and cause I, I didn't want to know what I was trying. And, um, that's, that's what started all this because I was like, you know, I don't really want to know if it's drugstore or if it's not and what I'm putting on my face. And so, um, yeah, but of course, since I did that, I have been, you know, tested other foundations and now it's kind of a combination of what I blind tested and other foundations. So I have several and it depends. I mean, you know, if I want full coverage, if I want light coverage, if I want medium coverage, if I want a radiant look or a matte look. And so that's why I did the top foundations playlist so that you guys would have ideas of my top foundations for different reasons. So that was a long answer to your simple question. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I do have one of those videos on my top skin like foundations. So yes, um, that playlist could be very helpful for, um, you and Jennifer as well. Thank you guys. You guys are so sweet in the chat. Gosh, love it. Um, okay. Would you rather have 60 seconds to do your daily makeup? or have to do 
a full one hour glam ever look every time. 60 seconds, that's one minute to do your entire makeup look for the day or for a special event or have to do a full one hour glam look every time. <laughs> I'm seeing it. And this is one that I thought about because I originally was like, oh my gosh, 60 seconds. But then I was like, who can do their makeup in 60 seconds? <laughs> who? So I don't care what you're doing. I mean, my brows take me two minutes. <laughs> so that's not going to work for me. So I definitely have to go with the full one hour glam. And I'm thinking that glam doesn't always have to mean false lashes and that typical glam look. It can be your own version of a glam look. So I figure, you know, let's just do the full one hour and just have fun with it. I just might have to get up earlier or start getting ready earlier. I love how I always start out my videos with my hair, you know, all here. And then I'm just a chronic ear tucker. Is anyone else? I just always end up tucking my hair behind my ears. Okay. We have a few 60 seconders in here. Yeah. I mean, I can't do my makeup fast. I find the older I get, the longer it takes me to do makeup. And I thought it would be the opposite. I really did. And it is not because my circles take longer to conceal. My skin needs more evening out. Well, not so much lately. I don't know. I feel like that's gotten a little bit better, but I'm looking at myself in this mirror back here. But my eyebrows are a huge thing that takes longer. You know, my lip lines aren't as even. My lashes are thinner. Everything's just like, it just takes longer. So for me anyway, <laughs> thanks Fiona. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, um, look at JoLynn keeping it real. I love it. I, I don't, I mean, I can, I just usually take my time, keep my makeup less than 30 minutes. Um, I just usually take my time. Yes, it is. It's meditative sometimes just to sit there and stone out and do your makeup. I don't think my skincare routine takes as long. Luke is right here. Oh no, he's not. Where did he go? There he is. See, he crawled in his bed. He was here at the beginning of the chat on his usual spot. And I always say, if y'all ever don't see him, he is either right behind me in his bed, which is right there. Or he is upstairs because one of the kids is eating or he is at the groomer or the vet. So those are usually the only reasons why you don't see him. Since I started watching it, yeah. <laughs> Makeup videos will do that to you. They'll, they will increase your get ready time. Um, am I still using the long time no shine powder? Have I found anything better? Um, okay. I, I love this conversation because we're kind of doing this and then going off topic a little bit. Hope everybody's okay with that. I guess that's, you know, what chat's all about, right? So, okay, let's hope I don't knock anything over because I've kind of got everything everywhere. Um, I have some fun video things coming up. I think, I mean, I hope you guys think they're fun. Um, okay, so there's a long time no shine powder. I have a little circular makeup thing, carousel over here, I can't think of the word, carousel over here where I keep the things that I reach for a lot or things that I'm trying and testing out and a long time no shine powder still in there. It's not in the drawer. Um, next to it is the Stila in the Buff powder spray that they are still carrying at Ulta. I feel like this mattifies a little bit more than this and it still looks natural. It's just, I don't know, it's not as talked about and it kind of sprays out kind of funky. And look, I'm getting kind of shiny, so I can kind of show you guys if you want to see. Um, hang on. Okay, so my typical blotting process, if you guys want to see it right now, <laughs> this is exciting stuff going on in the chat. So I don't have a, bl uh, hang on one second. Um, sorry. Oh, bye mom. Have fun at Bridge, love you. Um, I know some of you have to go cause I mean, it, it's, you know, lunchtime and all that. So, um, I'm just so glad you popped in and you know, you can always pop in later. It's going to be living on my channel and you can see what you missed. So, and I will have the links in there. 
for you guys that we of the products we talked about, which means I have to go back through it and see what we talked about because I'll forget. So if I am blotting my, no, it's okay, Tara, we're still here. We have not finished the questions because we are veering off on other subjects, which is what it's all about. So when I'm blotting my face during the day, I'll typically take a blotting sheet or touching up or whatever. I'll take a blotting sheet or a tissue if that's what's available, which is what's available right now. And I will just press it on my face. And you see, could you tell that that took away the shine? I know I'm kind of grainy right now because of the lighting situation. Um, so this is actually a good blot test for the foundation. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit came off on there. Um, <laughs> We're getting the real life Luke-ness right now. Um, can you guys still hear me with the thunderstorm? Or rain? Okay. <laughs> there's, there's a shell. <laughs> so I blotted my face with the tissue, and now I take this. I'm using this powder because I kind of want you guys to see how it sprays out. So this is why I don't talk about this one as much. Look, see, this is what he does. He stands right there, and he stares out like he is going to really, you know, whoop somebody. And, and there's probably nothing out there or somebody just walked by on the sidewalk. He is a Havanese, which some people have heard of. Some people have not. They're from the same lineage or something that um, Bichons and Maltese are. So they kind of look like a Maltese, except they are not all white and they're a little bit bigger. He's about 15 pounds. Um, <laughs> it's not thundering yet. So <laughs> that's funny. Somebody's dog's barking back at him. Okay. So this powder, I, for those of you that have missed, okay, we are going through these products or this uh, makeup tag, but now I'm blotting my face <laughs> because somebody asked me about powder. So um, anyway, okay, back to, okay, see, and that quickly, there he is. This is what I deal with you guys. And he's just so random. <laughs> so um, I do, I love this powder and I do still use it. And this one has just, it's the dispensing mechanism. I feel like if it was in a container, more people would be all about it. But I kind of like it for travel because it's so lightweight. So when you, I hope you guys can see this, let's see. Wow. That's what happens. And I think they did that so that you could squirt it directly on your brush. And hey, Lori, been there, been there. But when you do it on your brush, I feel like it kind of goes everywhere more so than on the back of your hand because you see all that real estate that it covered. So um, my mom has a, a Bichon. They don't really get along that well because <laughs> the Bichon is all like, hey, Luke, want to play? Want to play? And Luke is like, no, 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 I don't. <laughs> So now this isn't typically the brush that I use to touch up with. And I do typically touch up with pressed powder because that's what I'm carrying with me during the day. But I just wanted to show you that powder dispensing mechanism. I wonder if I have a finer brush I can use because that one ain't cutting it. I was just going to say, you know, it'd be fun if you guys could actually physically talk back to me, but uh, can you imagine how loud it would be in here? <laughs> Let's see. So see if I tried to like do this, this is what happens. And that's just, no, but when you travel, it's really handy because you know, it's light, it's small, but it does really mattify and it looks natural and it keeps me matte for a long time. So those are kind of two that I really like. I also am testing out um, the Nikia joy powder and I've been liking it so far. Um, I feel like those are kind of the main ones that I've been liking. I have a lot of, of dog lovers in my community. I love it. Yeah. And that's why I like to put it on the back of my hand because it will hit the floor, even though it's just a cloud. And I've thought about dumping it out into another container, but like I said, I like it for travel. I like, you know, just throwing that container into my travel bag. It's just easy um, and lightweight. So, but I do like it and it really does minimize the pores in the same way that the long time, the Lancome long time, no shine powder does. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, I feel, um, 
back to like the temperament of Havanese is they're, they're just really good dogs. Kind of like I think Bichons and Maltese's are, they're just really laid back and, um, he's just, he's a good dog. <laughs> so, um, why was I talking about powder? <laughs> um, that, so that's my typical blotting process. I mean, it's super easy. I blot and then I powder and then I'm done. And you know, it just took away that extra shine I had going on. Um, if I had a brush on the other end. Oh yeah, it would be, it would be just like this. This is a great powder to touch up with. If you want to lose powder, are you guys familiar with this? Um, Oh, I am constantly decluttering and organizing. I know Jennifer Doyle. I wanted to say that as well. I'm so sorry about that. I just, I can't even imagine going through that. I'm so sorry. I hate hearing when anyone loses their family pet. It makes me so sad. Um, let's see. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. This powder is the Benefit Professional Agent Zero Shine Shine Vanishing Pro Powder. So it's got, you know, the Benefit Cute Packaging. This is what I touch up with during my videos <laughs> when I start looking shiny, when I happen to check the monitor and I notice that I'm looking shiny. No, this powder doesn't have sunscreen. The only powder I use with sunscreen is the Color Science powder. And um, this has this end that it's kind of a shaker and then you shake it into the lid. I mean, I guess I could actually shake it into the lid. So you just shake a little bit into the lid. You guys see that? And it looks tinted, but it, it doesn't give you any color. I don't, yeah, I think it's just translucent. I was seeing at the bottom had a shade on it. Yeah, it says on the back that it's mattifying for, for, Poor perfecting invisible finish and ultra lightweight. And it is, it really is. So then this end, if you know, maybe I should do this on camera. If you twist this end off, it's got a brush over here and you take that and you just swirl this end and then you would touch up. I'm not gonna do that right now because I just put powder on. I don't wanna just be total powder face by the time this ends, but that's how I touch up during videos. Um, Cause it's just easy to keep this sitting right here. Um, so let's see. Um, okay. I'm going to do the typical makeup YouTuber thing and put my lipstick on because my lips are super dry all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, and this is, <laughs> cause I know that's going to get asked. This is the um, L'Oreal Color Reshine Lipstick in number 916 Luminous Coral. This is what I'm having to do now. I'm about to have to start whipping glasses out during my videos to read. Like um, Dominique um, Satchus. How do you say her last name? I would always see her do that in her videos. I'm like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> the struggle is real. That just started this year. I turn, y'all, I turn 44 next week. Next week, I think, right? What's the day? Um, my birthday is on Wednesday, next week. I don't know why I'm excited about that because who wants to be 44? <laughs> you know. Um, thanks. <laughs> it just dawned on me all of a sudden. Um, thank you guys. I did see that, Laura, about the L'Oreal Color Reshine, the plumping version. I haven't tried it yet, but I want to. <laughs> you guys are calling me a baby. Look, I'm going to, you know, enjoy it while I can. <laughs> some days I feel that way and some days I don't. Um, I know, Jennifer, I agree with you. I love this community so much. Um, okay, let's do the next question. I have not eaten lunch yet. <laughs> Let's see the next question. That's not nor. I mean, that's, I've been kind of reintegrating intermittent fasting. It just kind of happened. And so my first meal of the day is usually around noon or one. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story yesterday, you kind of know what I'm talking about, but I've been feeling really good. So that was total side note. Um, Okay, we did number six. Number seven, would you rather use all mattes or all shimmers on your entire face, every single product, foundation, primer, blush, lipstick, 
shadow, everything that it's possible, shimmer or matte. We are Leos. Yes, we are Leos. I have the exact same birthday, date, day, month, and year as Charlize Theron. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, I look just like her. <laughs> no. But yes, I feel like she looks so much more sophisticated and older than I do. <laughs> Maybe not older, but just I guess she has that worldly presence about her and it makes me um, feel... Uh, I don't know how the word I'm looking for, but anyway, ah, John Bon Jovi, that's a good one. But I'm sure you don't, you know, aspire to look like John Bon Jovi. I would love to look like Charlize Theron. Um, yeah, I think she has this sophistication about her. I mean, she looks great. She's gorgeous, but she has this sophistication about her that I think makes her seem so statuesque and older for some reason. Um, I am going with matte, which is odd for me. Well, I mean, not odd because I, you know, I like a good matte foundation or demi matte or whatever. But what kills me is that I do love having a good shimmer on my lid. And I do like having a, a sheen on my cheek. And I love shimmer on my lips, not shimmer, but a sheen. And so going all matte on my lips and not being able to have shimmer on my eyes and that would kind of kill me. But I feel like, well, I mean, I know with my skin type and my climate, there is no way I could go with all shimmers because my pores would look gargantuan. Everything would just, oh, no, no. <laughs> There's no. Uh, oh, look at you. Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> I love you guys. Ozzy Osbourne. It's an awesome birthday twin. Um, Am I going to do these live? Like makeup tags? Jennifer Jennifer Doyle is asking, am I going to do these live? Um, do you mean makeup tags or just lives in general? Oh my gosh, I have a giveaway to do still. I forgot. <laughs> um, let's see. Nope, no glosses. Matte. Matte only. No gloss. Mm -mm, that's cheating. Has to be matte. <laughs> So we're what you guys are saying in this. Um, I, I would love to. The process was so easy. And if you guys are, you know, if the picture's good and um I feel like we were buffering again. Are we buffering? I know sometimes when I start buffering, you guys need to hit uh refresh and then that helps it. So let me know if you guys hit refresh, if it's okay again. We are having some rainy weather here, so Somebody let me know if it's okay again. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, good. Refresh helps. Okay. Um, yes. Okay, Marie. Yes. When you have an oily T-zone, your sheen comes out naturally. You don't need any shimmer to help it out. Um, Thank you, Charity. I, I'm really not that exciting. I'm not exciting enough to do a vlog channel or vlog videos. <laughs> I think I'm really not. <laughs> we do, Brooke and I sometimes will do, um, you know, shop with us or we'll go run errands and we'll do that. And I'll put it on Instagram story, not Instagram stories on IGTV over on Instagram, you know, which I've been now that they have attached that to, um, you can put a preview in your Instagram feed. It's, letting people have easier access to IGTV. Cause before people were like, what is IGTV? I don't even know how to get to that. I don't even know what it is. And now you can actually put it in your story, a preview and put a preview in your feed. And now people can just click and go straight to that little video. So we kind of do that sometimes, probably not often enough, but she loves doing that. So, um, Oh, thanks. This is kind of difficult multitasking, um, and reading the chat. Um, if you are having a slow connection, we do have some rain and storms going on here. Just hit refresh and it fixes it from what I'm hearing in the chat. Um, let's see. Somebody said, hmm, what? But I'm not sure what you're asking about. Um, I'm so glad to see you guys in here. Um, this is awesome. 
And I know people are popping in and out the whole time, which is great. And I will have this up on the channel later with any links and, you know, information of products that we've talked about throughout because we've been kind of all over the place. Um, and I think Michelle is in here. Somebody said they were really liking her lives. And um, we have been talking offline, Michelle and I. And um, I actually was like, how easy is it to do these now? Because I tried them before and no. Um, and she helped me walk through it. So. It, uh, Gail, it always takes me an hour to do all the links. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, and that's why, you know, sometimes people come in and they're like, you know, oh, affiliate links and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I mean, it takes time. And I can't imagine anybody would just be like, yes, I will work. I will work for free. Great. You know, I mean, we sit there for after we upload the video, you go hunt down the links, get the shortened links, pop it in find the product, hunt down the links, find the link, pop it in. It's such a convenience for you guys. And I know that because I use links too when they're in the description box of videos. It's such a convenience, but it takes time. And it is part of the job. It's part of it. But that's, you know, why, you know, with a couple cents, <laughs> you know, if somebody buys through the link, it does support the channel. It helps us buy products to review and stuff like that. I'm digressing, but I know some people are like, you know, how, how dare you make money on YouTube? And I'm like, it's, it's a job. It's a full-time job. It's probably from start to finish. One video is at least a full day, sometimes more of work. Sometimes it's a day and a half of work between what goes into the beginnings and the ends, not even including what you do like along the way, what, you know, just filming along the way, if you're doing, you know, say foundation testing and researching and coming up with the idea and things like that. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so yeah, links are a huge help. I mean, I didn't do it when I first started my channel. I didn't even think about it. I didn't know. And it wasn't until my channel started building and I got asked in the comments um, why I wasn't doing links and I did not know how to do it. I kind of had to figure it out on my own and, um, I have other collabs on the horizon soon. Risa and I are actually working on doing kind of a regular thing that we're cooking up. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for saying that about the consistency and details with my channel. I, I know I was off for uh, almost exactly a month in March and April, you know, with my dad um, with his passing and I, it was so odd for me to not do any content during that time. And then when I came back, it took me a while to catch up with, you know, just building things back up with views and consistency and things like that. So um, I think YouTube kind of stopped suggesting my content for a while because I had been not there for about a month. So it's, that's kind of how things work. So, um, and it, it got me off of a rhythm, which I was so used to. I love doing stuff like this. Um, thank you guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. And I appreciate all of you so much. I know I've already told you guys that so much, um, about everything that you guys said during that time. I mean, you all were amazing. Um, okay. Had to moderate. Um, I know, Donna, it's crazy. I, I, but this eyeliner video I just did kind of took off. And I mean, I was kind of going in that direction anyway, but then all of a sudden it's like, oh, <laughs> what's happening? So it's really exciting. This has been an exciting week actually for me. So, oh gosh, my stomach just growled. <laughs> um, thank you. You all are so sweet. Um, okay, so I am going to... I know a lot of you have been here since I was, you know, just starting and shortly after I started. And I just, I love that about this community is that I've got some new people coming in. I've got people that have been here for a long time and I love seeing the comments below my videos. You have no idea how much that warms my heart. It sounds stupid, but it's, I don't know. It's just, I love seeing the conversations that go on and the questions and just knowing that you're, taking something away from something that I said in a video. It's, I just love knowing that I reach you guys. It just, it means a lot. So. Oh, 
wait, I told, okay, somebody just said that me and Risa together are great. Um, okay, we, we talk multiple times a day, okay? There's this app called Marco Polo um, that is like uh, video texting. You basically video text just like this, except you, you know, it's kind of like a private message and you send it to, you know, somebody and then they video text right back. It's kind of like Snapchat, except it doesn't disappear. It's an ongoing thing. So we do that every, every day, unless we have something going on. So, um, I, uh, she, one day we joke cause we both live in really hot climates. Right. But mine is, you know, super hot and humid. Hers is really dry. And she was talking one day about how they had, it was like 27% humidity and she was dying. And I was like, no, no, <laughs> you would physically die if you moved to New Orleans. <laughs> like you would die. You, I'm convinced that she would melt into a puddle if she came into New Orleans. Because there's been a few times when we have Marco Polo back and forth and she will talk about how it's like 40% humidity or it's 60% humidity there. And she is like, Oh my God, you know, my hair and uh, it's just so hot. And I'm like, girl, it is frequently 80, 90% humidity here, 70. I was like 60 is moderate 40. It's hallelujah. My hair will stay straight and my makeup won't melt off, won't melt off my face. 20% is nothing like nothing. <laughs> so I make fun of her about that a lot. And so I think, you know, if she came to New Orleans, it would have to be very strategically planned <laughs> in terms of the time of year. Um, so it would probably be, we have talked about me coming, going back to Las Vegas in October, maybe, or in the fall, at least. I don't know. I don't think it was October specifically. That's just when we went last time. Um, but maybe the fall again, because we had a lot of fun when we did that. Um, yeah, New Orleans in the summer is not fun. I mean, it's actually kind of nice when it rains because it cools off in the humidity. Well, the humidity is still here, but at least you know it. You can just, you know, throw your hair up or whatever. Um, okay, we are on number eight. And I think there's only nine questions unless I missed one. But I mean, hey, <laughs> that's all right. I know no one understands how humid it is in the deep south unless you come here. No one knows. And look, I am from Tennessee. So I am used to mild climates, actual seasons. So no, San Antonio and, and all that, they are also humid too. Yes. New Orleans is on another level, I think, but they are still hot and humid as well. Um, again, I just got that notification. If you're buffering, hit refresh and it should fix it. Um, yes, Texas is horrible humidity. I lived there until I was 12. I do remember that. Um, do I think I'd ever consider office treatments, Botox, laser, uh, you're too young and your skin looks great. Just want to review you on this. My mom uh, went to go play bridge. <laughs> so she was in chat, but she went to go play bridge. Procedures. I'm, I'm going to get to that. Um, New Orleans. Uh, um, uh, procedures. Yeah. I think if you... Yes. Okay. So I have had Botox before and I'm very open about it. I don't have it now. I have nothing going on right now. Um, but I had 11s and I still get them if I furrow my brow, but I was noticing when I was walking past windows and mirrors, <laughs> hello. Yes, of course, mirrors that they were kind of, they were just always there, you know, these 11s and it made me look frustrated and I did not like it because I, I, I normally have, you know, just kind of a friendly face and, um, you know, a, a approachable face. I think I get that from my mom. So if she was here, I would be thanking her right now. But um, I, um, it would bother me. So I went in gosh, a couple years ago for, you know, to get that addressed. And I got it there probably, I don't know, two or three times maybe. And I feel like whatever... I did. However, it was done. It relaxed this muscle enough to where I have not needed it there since. I mean, not really. Every now and then I'll look and I can kind of see a shadow pop up here, but I, I don't have that as well. So when people say that Botox, if you get it, it, it can relax the muscle to where you don't need it. Um, then, um, 
I, I am proof that that can happen. And you know, I probably should do a video on this actually. And I have actually, um, I'm talking with a friend of mine's husband who is a facial plastic surgeon here in New Orleans and he's very good. And he's actually introduced um, hydrofacial. And I know a lot of people are interested in that. And I thought about doing that um, and, um, Oh my gosh, I hope you cannot hear my stomach because it just growls so loud. Um, I thought about maybe doing that, um, you know, on my channel. How was your hydrofacial? I see one of you had it. I am so intrigued by it. Um, who is that, Gail? Um, um, Gail, are you going to be here for a little while? I might appoint you to help me moderate. Do you mind? <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of an impromptu thing. It just kind of helps me because apparently there's some weird lurkers in here. Um, okay, so. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, I didn't even see that about Marnie. Hope, maybe I hope I didn't miss it. But um, yeah, I was thinking about putting that, you know, on my channel. And then um, we talked about it right before my dad got sick. And um, then after that happened, I kind of had to put everything on hold um, about the hydrofacial. And I, um, thank you, Gail. Did I thank you? I feel like I'm all over the place. <laughs> um, I appreciate that. That's a huge help. Um, I, I'm acting like I'm looking at Gail when I'm looking at the chat, but thank you. Um, so anyway, so he, um, he had just, you know, basically said, you know, it would be, you know, he'd love to do it. He'd love to talk kind of about the hydrofacial and about other things because I am interested in talking about filler underneath my eye area because I know for a lot of you, a lot of us, it can make us look more tired than we are. And that's not so much about, I mean, it is about vanity, but it's not in a way because you do, it's a fact that you do lose a percentage of facial facial fat, you know, every, you know, what, three to five years in your face. And as you age past the age of 35 and, he, you know, just getting some of that back, um, to look, make you look more refreshed. And so I've thought about that and, you know, putting that kind of stuff on my channel, I probably should go back and look at Botox for this area here. Cause it drives me crazy. But I think my philosophy is, I know that like my mom and her age group, it's more of a stigma. I mean, if I mention it to her, she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're going to get needles put in your face. You know, it's just what, but I feel like there's more known about it now. And if you feel the need to do something and it's going to make you feel better, then do it. If you are looking in the mirror every day and you are constantly unhappy with something you see, then more power to you. I mean, I don't judge people for doing things that they want to do if it's going to make them feel better. I don't know. That is my philosophy. And if you guys want to hear more about that, you know, I, I'm happy to talk about it. Sure. Um, let's see. I think um, filler under the eyes. Yeah. I mean, I know, you know, I've talked to people about that and, you know, the upper cheek. I'm, I should probably put this in like a regular video because we're totally going off topic here. Um, I have chatted with him a little bit about it and there's certain ways to do that to like a gra kind of a gradual process so that it's not something that's overnight, you know, and I think where filler and Botox get a bad name is because we think, or, you know, people think about people that have, done it badly or gone overboard. You know, if you do it right, you can't tell. You just look well rested. Uh, you know, that's how it should be done. So that's what I think. Um, oh yeah. If, if I, if I do something, I will definitely take you guys along if you're interested. I just, uh, you know, hadn't really thought about, um, I guess how we do that or what to do at this point. Um, yeah, right. It's not plastic surgery. It's not forever. They can dissolve it if you don't like it. Um, 
Yeah. So that is that. Um, okay. Next question for the would you rather makeup tag that we are doing gradually sprinkled throughout this video. Would you rather do makeup for a year or never watch YouTube again? <laughs> would you rather not do your makeup for a year or never watch YouTube again? Some of these questions, some are really easy and some are harder than others. Um, Now, Jeannie, Jeannie touch, of glam, touch of Class Glam, people can get a, a Botox brow lift, and it can make them look surprised. I had a friend that that happened to. Like, she, she had somebody that did it with a certain technique, and she looked kind of like the Joker for a while. So you got to be careful with that, too. <laughs> um, yeah, I think – oh, right, right. Um, I, I mean, I would probably not watch YouTube again, which would be kind of hard being that I am on YouTube, <laughs> but I, you know, I couldn't have a makeup channel if I didn't do my makeup for a year. I mean, I could talk about skincare, but I think that would get kind of boring and then it'd be hard for me to constantly talk about skincare over and over and try skincare constantly. I don't know. Of course I do try skincare constantly, but I mean, if that was the only basis for my channel. Now, of course there are channels like Gothamista, um, who focus mostly on skincare. So, um, I don't know. It could be done. Oh, that's the other thing I'm really intrigued by. <laughs> um, somebody mentioned nose job. Um, they do these liquid nose jobs now. Have you guys heard of this? <laughs> I'm so intrigued by it because I've had this bump in my nose and I have seen them totally reduce a bump with filler. Like it makes the person's nose that looks so big before look so much smaller. Like they'll lift the tip a little bit and they will just get rid of the bump. And I'm thinking, I wonder if I could do that on my channel. <sighs> oh, it's so interesting. All the things that they can do. It's a liquid nose job or a, um, what is it called? Uh, I think it's just a non-surgical nose job or something like that. Um, Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> I do want to ask him about it though. <laughs> if anything, just to know how much it is. Cause I know people are interested in that kind of stuff. Oh, it's all scary. I mean, that's not even, see, even that, that's not surgery and you can get that dissolved if you don't like it. And that's, what's good about those kind of procedures. Thank you. I know. And you know, I've always said that would totally be an unnecessary thing. <laughs> and I've always said that if I ever, I have a deviated septum, a true devi de deviated septum that I do need to get fixed, but I'm too chicken to do it. <laughs> so um, that's just, I know, those, that's the least of my worries. Um, you know, unless the deviated septum gets worse, I'm not doing anything to my nose. So um, the last would you rather makeup tag question, and then I'm going to go through this giveaway stuff super, super fast, and I'm going to have all of that stuff or the rules for that in my description box, which will be in the video once it goes up on my channel later. Uh, my hair. Um, one of these has to go forever. Highlighter, bronzer, or blush? Pick one. You cannot wear it ever again. So I, as much as I have grown to really love highlighter. I don't wear it every day. So I would pick highlighter for this one. Um, I love bronzer. I wear bronzer all year long, different ways. We have a lot of highlighters, several bronzers. I think I saw a blush in there. Um, yeah, and I have to have my blush. I have to have my blush. I mean, you can use bronzer as blush. But I really, I don't know, I like to vary my colors of blush, too. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm loving these answers. These are great. So, yeah, that was it. That is all the questions in the Would You Rather Makeup tag. And I'm so glad that I did this in a chat form because I think it would have been so boring if <laughs> I just sat there and did it like a normal tag. I don't know.
Michelle, you still in here? Michelle Wong, you still in here? <laughs> um, I don't know if she had to step out or not. I should Marco Polo her and see. And yes, you're right. Some eyeshadow can be a highlighter. My stomach is telling me to get off this chat and get some food in my body today. Um, you guys are, oh, hey, Michelle. Um, so Michelle, if you um, are doing this tag, you said Thursday. I tried to tell people earlier, but I wasn't sure what time. Do you have that scheduled? Because I told them that you were probably going to be doing this tag too. Um, so I just thought you might want to put that in chat so that people would know when to see yours. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to be showing you what's in this giveaway. Yes, giveaway, giveaway. No, I'm not giving away my dog. <laughs> Sorry, no, you cannot have Luke. He is mine and he is sacked out right now asleep behind me. Um, that's okay. I totally understand about you guys having to, you know, come and go, come and go. It's just kind of run long. Um, so Michelle's uh, live stream will be Thursday morning, sometime Thursday morning. So, Oh, Weight Watchers. I know I started Weight Watchers last Monday. So uh, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, if you're on Instagram, come follow me. It's stephmarie.7. Um, I, in my Instagram stories yesterday, I talked about how I started Weight Watchers last Monday and I did lose two pounds last week and I kind of inter inadvertently started intermittent fasting um, just because that's just kind of, I don't know, it just works for me for some reason. And I woke up this morning, my sinuses were clear. I don't know if it's because I am eating better or because of the intermittent fasting or both. Um, I am not so small, Jillian. I mean, look, I, and I said that in my Instagram stories, I, I'm fully aware I'm not obese, but I am, I've put on 20 pounds, almost 20 pounds over the past three and a half years. Um, see, I'm digressing again from the giveaway. Um, over the past three and a half years, I've put on close to 20 pounds and I am up two sizes roughly, um, from my normal size, which means I am not fitting in over half of my clothes in my closet. So, you know, and I said in my Instagram stories, it really doesn't matter if you're a size zero or if you're 12 or what size you are, if you are uncomfortable in your own skin, you're uncomfortable in your own skin. And I am uncomfortable in my own skin right now. And I am, I don't want to buy a whole new closet of clothes. And I'm, I'm in this point where I'm, you know, standing in the back in photos. I'm just, I, I'm, I don't even like getting dressed to go places because I don't like anything on me at all. And I just, I had an event happen this past weekend. I didn't say what this was on Instagram stories. So I'm telling you, <laughs> And everyone who sees this once it goes live, we were at a mother daughter um, beach trip. It was, you know, Brooke and four of her dance friends and me and three other moms of the friends. And we went on a beach trip last weekend, it was the weekend before. And um, we, they were filming this dance thing. The girls were this dance thing, kind of a TikTok thing. If you know what TikTok is anyway, there was this dance move, this dance sequence they were filming and you know it was all fun and good because I mean they're dancers right and um oh by the way Brooke made officer of her dance team um as a freshman she was the only one that made officer so <laughs> we're really proud go Brooke she's just good at everything I swear <laughs> anyway so humble humble not humble I don't know brag moment on the daughter so anyway so we went there and she um they were so then they're like let's have the moms do it and so we were like, sure, you know, we'd had a couple glasses of wine. We're like, that sounds fun. You know, some of us used to be dancers. So we all get up and we all do this dance and, you know, we learn it and we do it. And then I saw myself on video. Now I see myself on video all the time, but this was like a front full body. And I was like, I don't even know who that is. I, I don't even know me right there. It just, it just didn't even look like me. And so that moment, even though I see myself every day in the mirror and I've seen myself in photos and I haven't liked the photos at all, it was that moment that I was like, I have got to get my button gear. This is ridiculous. And I've tried my fitness pal and, you know, here and there, I've tried things here and there and I'll not lose anything after a week. I'll lose half a pound. And I think, okay, 
nothing works, you know, and uh, the fact is basically I'm over 40 and it's harder. So I, I did Weight Watchers started last Monday and lost two pounds, which I was kind of floored by. I wasn't expecting that. So anyway, that is my starting to succeed. Uh, thanks Gail. <laughs> um, story. Um, I'm not doing keto. It's not realistic for me, for where I live. I, I don't want to, I'm just not going to do that. But within the Weight Watchers thing, it has changed so much from when I did it after Brady was born. That's the only other time that I've really had to lose weight. I mean, I'm very fortunate um, in that. I mean, I, I would say I'm very fortunate, but I used to be very fit. Like I, I used to work out all the time. And I, I mean, I eat kind of healthy, but not that much. And um, I, um, when I did it years ago, it wasn't the same. I felt like I did a lot of sugar-free foods and substitutions. This is, if you eat healthy, if you eat a lot of lean protein, if you eat good fat, if you eat a lot of vegetables and fruits, your points will go far. And I have found that I have just been eating healthier. I have been cutting starches. I have been cutting extra sugar. And, um, I, have, uh, sorry, I had to. So anyway, so I, um, have been, um, I, I did, I've not been hungry and it's been working. So, I mean, of course it's only been a week, but I was excited about it. So that's my little Weight Watchers thing. And I'm going to be updating maybe weekly on Instagram stories and, um, you know, if all goes well, I'll do a video here, just over 40 weight loss. And, um, yeah, I'm processed food. Um, not that I never eat processed. I am not a perfect eater. I sometimes piece together really weird things, but you know, whatever works. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks Gail. Um, but yeah. So anyway, giveaway. Yes. Someone did say giveaway earlier. <laughs> I've got, I'm planning on doing several giveaways coming up because I've just got products in the other room that are sitting there and I need to give them away. So the first item is Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a pack of three. It's called the Gift of Magic Skin Mini Skincare Kit. It Magic Night Cream and Magic Eye Rescue. You guys know how I love a Charlotte Tilbury. So yes, gluten is a huge thing for me. Um, a huge bad thing. Uh, you know, I agree with you. I I'm our, I'm not, I'm our 5D. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how you say that. She says, why are people so unhappy? You shouldn't even need to moderate. You would be shocked at some of the comments that come through the comment section that I have to just delete. And sometimes I don't delete them. Sometimes I'll leave them. And I've gotten to where I'm not afraid to leave a snarky comment back because it's my channel. If you're leaving a comment, ugly comment, just to be ugly underneath the video. I don't let people come into my house and be ugly. Why am I letting people come into my channel and be ugly? Um, and it does happen. The more people grow, the more you get those kinds of comments, I guess. Um, and it happens, and I just I don't understand that because when I watch channels that I don't like, or if I watch a video that I think, oh, you know, I wouldn't do it this way, or I don't like the way you did that, I just exit out. <laughs> I don't ever think about making a weird, rude comment. I don't know. It's just strange to me. So I don't I don't know why people are that way. Um, Yes. So I either ignore or just delete and block. Um, I, I don't know. It's just, so anyway. Um, okay. I also have this Derma E water resistant. What is this? Uh, natural mineral sunscreen stick. It has broad spectrum SPF 30 and it is water resistant for up to 80 minutes. Um, so that is this, and I do have one of these already um, going, and we have used this at the beach. It's a really good product. So that is up in the giveaway. I have a, let's see, I'm trying to, you guys are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> um, I have a Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. I also have one of these in my makeup stash. It's a really nice powder. 
Um, yeah, so this is a full size. Yes, I, I really love Derma E products. I, I think they're great overall. Um, I have A, N, Urban Decay, Love Drunk Comfort Matte Lipstick. This is kind of a burgundy shade. You can see that it's kind of dark in here. Let's see. Um, and then I have a Sigma Sinuosity, Sinuosity Lash Curling Mascara, which is a good mascara, actually. I have used one, used one up completely. And this is a NARS Velvet Lip Glide. It's like I can't read all of a sudden. NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Spike. This is a little mini. This isn't a full size. Um, I can't remember. I think this came in a set with several minis, but this is a kind of a pretty, I'm going to open it, but it hasn't been used just so you can kind of see the shade. So it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a rosy shade. Um, and one last thing in this particular giveaway is the Emil, it, it, I don't know if it's Emily or Emile Cordon. This is the um, Miracle Lip Balm. I have a few of these. These are so good. Um, they're really fancy. And there's a little scooper in here too. This one actually has a tent to it. Tent. Um, this is called Madison Queen. These are really hydrating. I typically use them at night, but I mean, this one has a tent, so you may want to use it during the day. And um, in my future giveaways, I'll probably have some of these in different shades because they sent me several and I have a few left to give away. I kept a couple for myself because I do love them. So that is this giveaway. And like I said, I will be having some more. So to enter the giveaway, um, I am actually going to have all of that down below, but you do need to be subscribed to my channel. Definitely um, have a comment either in the chat or in the you know comments section, like the video, and you get a bonus entry, bo two bonus entries if you follow me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. So that will give you possible two bonus entries. And I'll have the dates, I'll have all the rules and all that. Um, in the description once this goes live. So, um, yeah, I think that it, wait, no, there's one more product. I felt like there was, no, I don't see it. I, uh, I might have to put it in. I guess I didn't bring it. That'll go in the next giveaway. <laughs> I had one more product though, but, um, um, this giveaway is, yes, I will make this one internationally. I'm not going to do them all internationally though. And I hate to do that because I love doing them international, but the cost is almost prohibitive of shipping. And it's, it's so difficult to do international giveaways when you are not a big humongous channel and don't have, you know, just funds coming out of your ears. So I'm going to, I'm going to make this one international. I just don't know if they're all going to be international, but I'm going to try to do a giveaway. Um, I don't know, once every few weeks, once a month, and I'll probably do a couple on Instagram as well. I have some good products sitting there waiting to be giving to be given to good homes. I think I've lost the ability to speak. This, <laughs> this has gone on a long time. You guys, this has been fun. Um, Thank you guys so much. What lip color am I wearing? Okay, I did apply this in the video. If you go back and watch the replay later, um, it looked a little fresher after I applied it. This is the uh, Color Reshine L'Oreal Lipstick in Luminous Coral, number 916. It's kind of faded since I've been talking and drinking water, but that's what that is. I like it. It feels good. Yes, I'm going to go eat because um, my stomach is growling a lot. So thank you guys so much for being here with me today. And um, I, I'm going to try to do these on somewhat of a regular basis. And um, any questions I didn't get to today, save them for the next chat or, or put them in the comments below once this goes live. Um, and um, yeah, because it will be up. Hopefully within the hour, I'll have it up. And that's it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you very soon. I have a new video coming out on Thursday. That should be my July monthly favorites. And I will be showing you what I actually bought in the Nordstrom sale during that video. 
um, probably during the second half, because I know not everybody's interested in that, but some of you really do want to see that. So, okay. I have enjoyed this so much. Love you guys. Bye.